This is Module 2, EP Workmate System Basics. To understand how the EP Workmate recording system actually functions, it's important to understand the signal acquisition theory of the system. The EP Workmate recording system is a unipolar based recording system. Each intracardiac electrode is recorded and stored as a unipolar signal. In order to record signals unipolar, a single reference point is required. This means that all signals are stored as the positive pole with the system reference as a negative pole. This is a fundamental difference in the way the EP Workmate recording system works from other recording systems. The EP Workmate recording system displays the bipolar electrograms on the screen that the user requests by subtracting the two unipolar signals, rendering the bipolar signal seen on the screen. This process is accomplished during signal review and real-time electrogram display. Every bipolar signal that you see on the screen is constantly being generated from its two unipolar components. The main unipolar reference for the EP Workmate recording system is the right leg surface lead. All EP Workmate recording systems, regardless of hardware or software versions, utilize the 12 lead surface right leg lead as the main system reference. This unipolar reference can be supplemented by using an intracardiac lead. Any intracardiac electrode currently in use can be used as a system reference supplement. A pin jumper is used from the reference location in the pin box to any intracardiac electrode to create a supplemented reference. It's important to note that there are a couple of locations that are not good to use as system references. Any electrode that you're pacing should not be utilized. Using a pacing electrode as a system reference will generate large amounts of pacing artifact across all intracardiac channels. Additionally, the distal electrode on the ablation catheter should be utilized. Delivering RF energy through the reference electrode will generate RF noise across all intracardiac channels. Other electrodes utilized are suitable channels to use as system references. There is a specific order in which the EP Workmate recording system should be powered on. The signal conditioning unit should be started first so that it can complete its boot-up sequence properly prior to all the other components. Once the SCU has been started, all other components can be started except the EP4 cardiac stimulator itself. The stimulator must be turned on last so that it can communicate properly with the main computer and the touchscreen control. When powering up the EP4 cardiac stimulator, you first turn on the power switch to allow the stimulator to go through the 10-second self-test. Once the stimulator has completed its self-test, you can then turn on the output switches for each individual channel. This will allow the stimulator to be fully functional. There is no specific order in which the EP Workmate recording system should be powered down. However, when powering down the EP Workmate recording system main CPU and the touchscreen control computer, both have shutdown options that you need to select to shut them down properly. Both components utilize Windows operating systems and require a proper shutdown command. After Windows has completely powered down, the computers will prompt you that it's safe to turn them off. The EP Workmate recording system does not require a daily startup and shutdown. However, the system should be rebooted at least once per week. Connecting a patient to the EP Workmate recording system is very straightforward. The most important patient connection consideration is the connection of the right leg lead. Remember that the right leg lead is the main system reference. When attaching the right leg lead, it is vitally important to prep the skin properly using alcohol prep. Alcohol prep is the minimum that should be done when prepping the right leg lead. Preferably, the skin should also be given a surface abrasive prep. The ECG patch should be of good quality. The conductive gel should not be dried out, and the patch should be fairly fresh from the vendor 
and not stored for long amounts of time. Placement of the right leg lead is also critical. The lead should be placed on the lower right leg above the knee. It should be placed on a meaty location of the leg rather than a bony location. The lead needs to be placed low to keep it away from the torso, magnetic fields, and RF fields that are created during the typical EP study or ablation. The patch needs to be at least 12 inches away from the RF grounding pad, electrocautery grounding pad, or biosense magnetic field. The right leg lead wire should be kept clear of the grounding pads and out of the biosense magnetic field. It should not run near the X-ray system's rotor assembly. The EP Workmate Recording System Main Menu The EP Workmate Recording System displays the main menu upon startup. This main menu consists of several different options, each displayed as a button. The first option is to Begin Review Study. Selecting this option starts the primary application and starts the software so that you can actually do a new case or review an old case. The Archive Signals option is what you select when you want to store signal data over to an optical disk, a DVD, or a server for permanent storage. The Query Database selection is a database search. The EP Workmate Recording System contains an extensive database in which the customer can put lots of information about the case and the patient. Any information that's put in the database can be sorted and gotten back out of the database using the Query function. Database maintenance is a utility that performs routine maintenance and compression of database structure. To run the database maintenance, you simply click the database maintenance button and allow the utility to run. Depending on the amount of information in the database, it may take a few seconds up to approximately a minute. The technical support button activates PC Anywhere which is the program that we use for telephone or internet technical support. The customer must press the technical support button in order for us to be able to access the computer remotely. The software upgrade button activates the software upgrade utility so that software upgrades can be installed. We typically send out all software upgrades on CD. The Shutdown System button activates the Windows System Shutdown, which will power down the main computer. The Review Version 3 Studies button allows a customer with Version 3 studies on a server to access and review those studies. The Archive Slides to CD option allows the user to automatically create and burn a CD with images and screenshots that were saved from an EP Workmate recording system study. When you want to begin a new study or review an old study with EP Workmate recording system, you need to click the Begin Review Study button from the main menu. When you click the Begin Review Study button, you get the EP Workmate recording system opening menu. On the opening menu, you can select whether you're here to begin a new study or edit a previous study. If you choose to review a previous study, you have to tell the computer where that previous study is located, either on the hard drive or the optical drive. This could also be a DVD or a server. When you're starting a new case, you need to enter a patient's name. And you enter the patient's name, last name, first name, middle initial. And what's really important is that you don't put any commas between those names, just spaces. You can also enter the patient's ID number. And if the patient has been here before, they will show up on the list in the main body of the menu. You could select a patient from the list, which will reload all the patient's demographic information and allow you to start a new study for a pre-existing patient.
The final thing that you have to do when you're starting a new study is to select your CAF map. The EP Workmate recording system considers a CAF map to be the study type. We'll talk more about that later when we're talking about the setup screen. Finally, if you're coming into EP Workmate recording system to do some practicing or just learning about some of the features, you can turn on some demonstration signals by clicking Demonstration Signals checkbox. This will give you some electrograms that look real in order to practice measuring, recording, printing, etc. Finally, when you have chosen all the options and you're ready to start the study, you just need to click the Start button in the upper right corner of the opening menu. This will load the patient data you've entered and will load the cath map that you selected and it will start your study. Once you click the Start button, the opening menu goes away and your study has been started. Now you're looking at the basic EP Workmate recording system review and live screens. Each screen has its own screen specific controls at the bottom. The review screen has controls to help you scroll through information and review and manipulate data that you've recorded during the case. The live screen has buttons that will help you manipulate your data change your sweep speed, and your gains, etc. Things that you need to change about the live screen. Everything else about the EP Workmate Recording System program is controlled from the toolbar at the top of the review screen. One section to bring attention to is recording, the amount of hard drive space left, and finally the archive media source. The archive media source is important because the EP Workmate recording system will not allow you to have a case that is bigger than the archive media source. For example, if you're using an 8.5 gigabyte dual layer DVD, each side of that DVD is going to be approximately 4.7 gigabytes. So one case will not be allowed to be larger than 4.7 gigabytes. The EP Workmate recording system does this so that you don't have cases that are split between the different sides of the disk or split between two different disks.